Hey y'all guys, it's me, Elena Chano Nico the Spill once again, and today I'm back to be making more commentary videos. Well, I'm sorry once again that I have been inactive again, but anyways, I'll probably try to be my best to post some more videos anyways. Now, for this character we're using is Ibuki Mielda. Now, you guys might be saying, Elena Chan, why are you using Ibuki Mielda for this commentary? Well, because I like Ibuki Mielda. Why? Well, because Ibuki Mielda is actually my second favorite character on Danga Ropa 2 Goodbye Despair. And also, she's really cool in my opinion, but to any of you guys who hates Ibuki Mielda, I can handle your opinion on her. Well, for this commentary today is even some more of Christmas Yesterday Noodles Rants videos. Also, like I said before, these videos were also re uploaded by Green Ghost Boy 2005 or maybe even some like other users. Well, anyways, let's start this commentary. Well, for the first rant video I'll be commentating on is his rant on Bear in the Big Blue House. Well, I can tell that this rant is going to suck. Why? Because he gave out tons of valid reasons why he hates Bear in the Big Blue House and never did research. But anyways, let's get started with this first commentary. Bear in the Big Blue House. More like Bear in the Small Yellow House. Really? Bear in the Small Yellow House? Is that your best insult? Also, that insult was pathetic. Can you at least think of better insult than that? Oh my god. This show sucks. This show is about Bear and his friends and they like to go on failure adventures together. For the last time, stop using the failure adventures term. Why? Because they're getting overused nowadays. Bear is stupid. His voice sounds like Yogi Bear or Barney. Oh, and how does he sound like Barney and Yogi Bear? Well, take a look. Well, you see, they do not sound alike. Also, they are voice acted by a different voice actor as well. Also, why don't you at least do your research? Tutter is a terrible mouse. I rather prefer Jerry from Tom and Jerry better than him. Really? What does Jerry have to do with this rant? Although, I still like Jerry in my opinion. But, to any of you guys who hate Jerry from Tom and Jerry, I can handle your opinion on this character. But anyways, let's get back to this rant. Pip and Pop are the stupid winners. They need to be a losers. Well, actually, they were really funny in my opinion. Oh, his voice sounds like a bitch. Wait, what? What? Really, Christmas Yes, I need to know. Why would you call O a B word? Can you at least think a better insult than that? Trilo is a huge crybaby. Ha uh ha. -huh. He deserves it for having a shitty show. No offense, but how is Trilo a crybaby? And also, laughing at fictional characters who are upset or crying is just rude and heartless. Once again. Shadow is gay. Dude, using the word homophobic as an insult makes you homophobic. Also, next time, think twice before you make another insult than that. Or a reason. Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! No! 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 Shadow came way before Shadow the Hedgehog even existed. Do your research. Luna is gay. And she is a ripoff of Luna from Let's Go Luna. <laughs> once again, you're just being homophobic once again. And also, Luna came way before Luna from Let's Go Luna even existed. And also, do your research. Which she is way better than her. And Ray ripped off Ray from Henry Danger. Are you kidding me? Ray is not a ripoff of Ray from Henry Danger. Also, Ray came way before Ray from Henry Danger even existed. And also, 
Do your research once again. Thank God it got cancelled in 2006. Well, it really sucked that a popular kids show got cancelled. And thank God it got taken off the air in 2007. Do you know who likes this show? Vince the Sesame Street fan S2000. He likes this show because he likes Disney Junior. Well, he sucks for doing that. So what? He can like this show whenever he wants. Why? Because it's just his opinion about that show. Also, are you just bashing his opinion once again? Also, Vince the Sesame Street guy has been inactive all day ever since he apologized of his wrongdoings. Also, just leave him alone. Do you know who hates this show? Alex, the total drama guy. He made a rant on it. Well, you know what? Screw Alex, the total drama guy. Yep, I said that right. I mean, why would you like a user who made a demi video out of Paramount, which he would probably get sued by the company? And why would you like a user who take the show called Bear in the Big Blue House, Way to the Extreme, which he also made that he's a childhood ruiner as well? I mean, yeah, I know that he improved his behavior through from use. Also, now he still makes character contest videos. Bear in the Big Blue House sucks. And so does La La Loopsie. Once again, what does La La Loopsie have to do with this rant? Although, I still like La La Loopsie. And also, once again, to any of you guys who hate La La Loopsie, I can still handle your opinion on La La Loopsie. But, let's get back to the commentary. Gravity Falls is one million times better than Bear in the Big Blue House. End of rant. I agree with you on Gravity Falls, but you still suck, Christmas Yes Any Day No. And also, what does Gravity Falls have to do with this rant? Although, I'm okay with Gravity Falls. Well, that rant sucked. Why? Because he does not give any valid reasons why he hates that show and why he hates the characters as well. And he also kept using the word gay as an insult, which makes him homophobic. And also, he also said the false ripoff claims as well. Which also, he would probably need to do some research on that. Okay, well, this is the last Christmas Yes Sunny Day No rant I'll be commentating on. Is his rant on Blue's Clues. Well, I can tell that this rant is going to suck so hard. Well, anyways, let's start. Blue's Clues. More like Red's Poops. Really? Really? Red's Poops? Is this your really best insult? Also, this is the reason why the more like terms have been getting overused nowadays. Oh my god, this show sucks. Correction, this show rocks. And how does it suck to be exactly? This show is about two characters and they like to go on failure adventures together. No, they do not go on failure adventures, they go on great adventures. For example, They go on great adventures by solving clues or riddles or anything. That's why they go on great adventures. Blue is a terrible dog. If I saw him in real life, I would feed him chocolate. Just like the same thing you did to Bubble Puppy. Also, feeding dogs chocolate is especially dog abuse, especially for giving fictional dogs chocolate, which is also dog abuse as well. And also, Blue is a girl, to be exactly. You want proof? Here. You see, it appears that Blue is a girl or a female if you do not know. Then look it up.
And Steve is dumb. He has stole the name from Minecraft. Really? How is Steve dumb? Can you give any reasons why Steve is dumb? And also, how did Steve stole the name of Minecraft? You know, Blue's Clues came way before Minecraft did. And do your research. But, to be honest, Blue's Clues is better than Minecraft, to be exactly. Also, to any of you guys who still hates Blue's Clues and Minecraft, I can handle your opinion. But still, let's just get back to this commentary. Which is way better than this. The acting is dumb. And how is the acting dumb? The music is gay. Once again, homophobic. And the songs are crap. Correction, the songs are amazing. Why? Because the songs have put enough effort into it. Thank God it got cancelled in 2006. Well, that also sucks that another popular kids show got cancelled. But here is the bad news. This show is getting a reboot on November 2019. I hope it never gets a reboot in the future. Well, it will happen very soon. Do you know who likes this show? Heidi Titus. He was the one then who requested this rant. But I respect his opinion on it. Well, if he really likes Blue's Clues, then why did he request you to do this rant? And I don't know who hates this show. So I'm just gonna leave it be. Good, because I don't want you to be putting any more fictional characters in the hate or the like spot. Because I know you're going to make me so angry about this. So screw Blue's Clues. And screw Barney and Friends. What does Barney and Friends have to do with this rant? Although, I like Barney and Friends in my opinion. But, to any of you guys who hates Barney and Friends, I can handle your opinion on that show. But, let's continue with this commentary. Phantom is so many times better than Blue's Clues. End of rant. What does Danny Phantom have to do with this rant? Although, I am neutral over to Danny Phantom. Ugh. Oh my god! Thank goodness! That was the last rant video I had to do on this commentary. Well, I have to say, two of these rants made by Christmas Yesterday No sucked. Why? Because Christmas Yesterday No never did research and he never gave any valid reasons why he hates Bear in the Big Blue House and Blue's Clues. And also, in Blue's Clues videos, in that Blue's Clues rant video I meant, that was what I meant to say. Also, he was threatened to give Blue chocolate, which also, it reminds me of that two of those rant videos I commentated are his rant on Bubble Guppies and Sunny Day. Also, which is dog abuse. And what else is that he made false ripoff claims. Also, that it is not even true. He also said that Ray from Bear in the Big Blue House is a ripoff to Ray from Henry Danger. And he also said that Shadow from Bear in the Big Blue House is a ripoff to Shadow the Hedgehog, which is not true at all. And he also said that Luna is a ripoff to Luna from Let's Go Luna, which is also not true at all. And also, they came way before these characters even existed. I'm very sorry if I acted like this. I'm, I sometimes get angry a lot too, like I said it before. Also, that's all I like to say for now. And also, I hope you all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and see ya. And also, Happy Luna New Year, everyone.